So recently this company called Animotive hit me up about their app. They pitched it as a sort of VR filming space. As someone who develops VR apps and as someone who's been a filmmaker for a long time, I was naturally very interested about this whole filming in VR thing. At first I didn't really get it, but as I was looking over their features list, I noticed something that caught my eye. I noticed that they had Xsense integration. The app offers a lot of features, but when I saw that, I thought to myself, hey, that's probably a really cool way of capturing performance remotely. And boy, howdy, I was right about that. So I came back to them and I basically said, hey, let's do it. I want to direct a film in VR. Animotive will let you do a lot of things. You can build scenes and light them. You can bring in custom models and you can make stuff in other programs and bring it in. I make films in Unreal Engine. It's what you're looking at right now is me in Unreal Engine. It let me take the performance data from our shared CG space and place the motion capture files directly into Unreal for rendering. So you could use Animotive and make films in it, or you could pull them out and do something else, which is what I did, which is a really cool workflow. Animotive is the sponsor of this video. The team also helped us prep for the shoot during the production process and help us get files out on the back end. I pitched the team a couple of ideas and we decided on doing a story about wizards. Wizards specifically using something that's kind of like a Microsoft Connect, which I thought would be kind of funny to see the wizard version of that. The beginning of this started like it normally does for me with storyboards and Procreate. I took those and put them into a Notion document that I shared with the team. I wanted to do a short as I haven't seen a lot of cool original CG shorts on YouTube. I also created two wizard characters in Reillusion Character Creator 4. This seemed like a good tool for the story and I had really been wanting to dig into Character Creator pretty badly. One little hiccup occurred. I wanted to make one of the wizards kind of Ugo, and this was way harder than I expected. Character Creator is really bad at making anything but hot people if you use their default base models. Although Character Creator plays really well with Animotive, so this was awesome. Jack, the CTO of the company, and David, their production specialist, who was also our actor, joined us in VR for the session and helped us get used to the new tool. Okay, so okay. I'm gonna go for a tick. And as you can see, I am in group three. All right. It was really cool that we could do this with such a small group of people. Now, I don't want you to miss what's really cool about this. Like, Xsense technology is already very cool, but I'm in New York, and this is me directing David, who's wearing the suit, in Ireland. Even though we didn't use animative tools for rendering in the app, I was still able to frame up shots using their cameras and virtual tools for visualization. The entire team, both people who are in the call and anyone who is looking at a 2D computer screen, could see the shot that I was trying to frame up. Now, we probably could have done this in a Zoom call, but it never would have been as good. Being able to share the space with an actor was huge. Plus, I had some unorthodox methods for directing David that would never have translated if we weren't in the same space together. Left, right, left, right, stir the cauldron fireball. So at one point I had David press the power button on this Xbox thing, but we hadn't really modeled it yet, so it didn't exist yet. And I was surprised to see him do a really cool finger animation just using controls and animotive. At one point, I was like, can you gingerly pick up this wand? And he started messing with the controls and created this really cool look for just picking up the wand. And then pull it into the sky. That's great. Oh, look, hey, oh, wow. It's your YouTube comments. Oh my God. While well, I was just sitting here innocently taking a bath. Look at these beautiful comments. This isn't weird. This is good physics simulation. We really, really appreciate them. And now, if you'll excuse me, I have a very weird bath to get back to. The team handed off our mocap files and I was off to work really quickly. I started by using a couple of really high quality asset packs from Decagon. They have this wizard layer that's really good, but it didn't look homey enough for our story. So I added a few tweaks from other assets that I had lying around. I've seen a lot of Unreal YouTubers just film in stock asset scenes. I think we could all step up our game here a little bit. Animotive gets their facial capture from using the Quest Pro, which isn't quite as advanced as ARKit. And I also could have done more to direct David's facial performance. However, I decided to tweak a couple of the shots with keyframes. Overall, I wanted the piece to look kind of janky because it's a video about video games in an era where video game animation wasn't necessarily very good. Animotive does a really good job of retargeting. 
When you're in the app, you can just possess a character and it does all the work for you to make up for any size difference between you and the character. You could be 6'3 and play a child or be 5'1 and play a giant and it'll still look natural. All the IK math is done for you. It'll even make the eye lines look accurate. All of the mocap in the film was just pulled straight out of Animotive. We didn't touch any of it other than what we got, other than the face stuff that I mentioned. And it was really a lot of fun. It was like a really fun environment to make stuff in. We filmed this video late last year, and since that time, I actually bought an XN suit of my own. I'm excited about Animotive, not just because it's a really neat app, but because as a motion capture technician, it offers me the ability to let my clients create movies from across the globe and be in the same space together. Thank you so much to Animotive for sponsoring this video. If you wanna go check out Animotive, we have a link in the description. You should really go do it because they're changing things up in a big way. A big update that we're excited to tell you about is that they're changing their pricing model. So if you're using it for hobbyist use, you can use pretty much all the features and they're free. They also have a new FBX exporter that you can use to be able to get your stuff out of Animotive again for to do cool things, kind of like we did in this video. It's awesome. So uh, thanks to the team there for helping us make this video too. Uh, Y'all were great. Dave? Yeah. Let's freestyle.